as it relates to the issue of surrender, I ordered or that too, I ordered that information out. But when I got to the scene, that um, wasn't my information. I was told that they were all injured while in the house and they were taken to the hospital and pronounced an arrival. I have no such information about anybody surrendering. What I know is three men went into a dwelling to commit a crime or crimes. That was the police commissioner and divisional commander speaking to the press on Monday. At the time, they asserted that there were no reports that any of the three bandits surrendered. However, a police statement issued on May 30, 2019 states, and I quote, two of the bandits were found motionless whilst the other, who received multiple gunshot injuries, surrendered but succumbed to his injuries on arrival at the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, end quote. Reports are that the three bandits invaded the home of a construction worker and robbed him of a quantity of cash and electronic devices. However, police arrived at the scene and a shootout, which lasted almost an hour, ensued. At the end, all of the bandits were pronounced dead. The police commissioner explained that although it is usual for a trained police negotiator to accompany other ranks who engage in a shootout, the force remain uncertain if one was present in this instance. We do have persons who are trained in negotiation and uh, when you have such operations, that person goes along also with the team. But almost all situations, the, the negotiation is not necessarily for them to engage. I will have to check to confirm if a negotiator was there. But I'm saying that usually, when we have such reports, we take action to have a negotiator on standby. Davina Ramdas reporting for the Evening News.